Timothy, thank you for the heads up. Commitment 2024 Ohio's primary election day is here. Polls are open until 730. While the presidential candidates have been decided, there is still plenty to vote on, especially locally. The most closely watched race today will determine which Republican candidate will run for the U.S. Senate against Democratic incumbent Sherrod Brown in the fall. State Senator Matt Dolan, Secretary of State Frank LaRose, and businessman Bernie Marino are all seeking that GOP nomination. My co-anchor Stephen Albritton joining us live from a polling location in Warren County with a look at the turnout this afternoon and looking very presidential yourself, if I do say so myself, Stephen. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Kelly. I do appreciate that. We're live here at Sinclair Community College up in Mason, where I promise you just a few moments ago this place had quite a few people in there. But of course, when you go on TV and you go live, it clears out. That's just how it is. But it has seen on and off folks here coming in to cast their votes because there's so much happening on this primary election day from the bonds to the levies to deciding who's going to the general election. But let's start there. It's Marino versus Dolan versus LaRose, a three way Republican battle to see who will face Democratic Senator Sherrod Brown this fall to eventually serve the next six years in the United States Senate. Marino has the polling lead and the Trump endorsement. Dolan is right on his heels with the Mike DeWine and Rob Portman nod. Then current Secretary of State Frank LaRose has ground to make up to try and win this nomination. But we did speak to him this morning in his capacity as Secretary of State, the Chief of Elections here in Ohio. He says while the presidential nominees are important, this election also decides who sits in courthouses and also in state houses. These are those local candidates that are going to be on the ballot today, as well as a race for U.S. Senate, as you know, on the Republican ballot. Uh, again, a lot of important choices to make. And really, this is when both parties choose who their standard bearer is going to be. In many ways, primary elections probably have a bigger impact than general because this is when the parties pick who really represents my values to go forward and, and run in the general election. All right, so a couple things to remember. If you have an absentee ballot at home, it is too late to mail it. You need to take it to a Board of Elections office by 7.30 tonight. If you're going to vote in person, of course, bring that ballot photo ID. But get on the Board of Election, check your ballot as well so you know exactly what you are voting on. Polls close at 7.30. As long as you are in line by 7.30, you will be allowed to vote. So many important things to have especially that valid photo ID. Once again, don't get here and remember it in the car or at home. So make sure you have everything you need. Kelly, I'll send it back to you. All right. Now, Stephen, as we've mentioned, the race for the White House is virtually set as both President Biden and former President Trump have won enough primaries in other states to secure those nominations. Besides the Senate race, what else might voters weigh in on today? Oh, yeah, those bonds and levies, those are the big issues. I'm up here in Mason. Some Mason voters up here are going to be voting on a, a tax bond for Kings. They're trying to build a new high school. Uh, they have some capacity issues. We've heard from them this morning saying they might have to go to half-day kindergarten, among other things. Also, Fairfield City Schools, they need more money. They've said they might be cutting teacher positions if the levy there doesn't pass. So it's important to check your ballot, be an informed voter, know what's going on, because it's going to affect your wallet in the end, no matter which way that levy or bond goes in your area. Kelly. All right, Stephen Albritton reporting for us at a polling location. Stephen, we appreciate it. For a complete election guide, a full list of results as they come in, you can head over to our website, WLWT.com, or scan the QR code on your screen. Of course, we'll also have the latest for you tonight as those results come in on WLWT. Developing here on WLWT.